Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Telcoin and providing an update since they are building a foundation to be successful. And so back in May they worked with the Nebraska legislation to pass the Financial Innovation Act to be the first digital asset bank in Nebraska. And so since then they have started working with um, Vietnam as well and they have initiated a digital payment service in Vietnam. And so I'll be looking more in depth in that throughout this video as well. And so I think they're definitely laying the groundwork to be successful. And so if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button. It lets me know that you're enjoying this video and subscribe if you'd like to see future content on cryptocurrencies. And as always, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. This is just my opinion. And so let's take a look at Telcoin here. We can see that Telcoin is currently trading at about two cents and it is down about 5% today. However, I still think there's a lot of potential for Telcoin with the upcoming release of V3 that they will be talking about in an interview. Let's take a look at this interview here with Ryan Toy, the head of product at Telcoin. I look at V3 as not a single release. I look at it as the basis for the future of the Telcoin experience in general down the road. So, you know, you can call it V3, you can, you can call it whatever you like, but the next upcoming period of time is going to set the tone for the future of Telcoin in general. So we're calling that V3 right now. Now, that being said, it probably will be numerous releases over over time. But but also there's going to be a couple releases upcoming which are going to provide substantial amount of um, improvements, upgrades, um, regional enhancements, as well as functionality to the users. And, and I really think people are going to be very happy with it. So um, a little bit on what we can talk about today, just because we're getting close. And at this point, uh, I don't mind getting into a little bit. I know you and I have discussed this a little. Um, there's going to be an initial release upcoming, um, which is not as much. This will be more of a preparation for upcoming releases and will set the tone for what people can do later on. Um, mostly the most uh, important part of this release is going to be the migration of moving to the Polygon network here. And that's going to kind of set the tone for the future on what some of the capabilities for us are going to be. Additionally, we're going to be doing pretty much a full UX uh, redo there and with, with some new visuals and capabilities and, and really kind of get ourselves, you know, uh, competitive with what other um, uh, UIs are, are are throughout the industry as well. And then another thing that we're always going to have to be addressing, and right now is as good of a time as any, is is KYC and compliance. You know, we have to meet these standards for the future, not only for the individuals and users that we are um, there for immediately, but also everywhere else down the road that we think we're going to need to be able to um, uh, comply to as well. So, so that's going to be kind of a first stage of, of the release schedule here. Um, the second one, which will follow sometime after that, not to in the near future, is more of the functionality. And this is, I think, where people are going to be really excited and what they've been waiting for. Um, and, and this is kind of just the tip of the iceberg, but that's where we're really going to allow people to get into the um, the crypto side of things. Um, certain individuals and areas will be able to cash in and obtain stable coin um, in various areas. And then additionally, all Telcoin users will be able to conduct swap uh, functionality on, on the mobile app at this point with various digital currencies. So um, we, we know that's something that's been widely asked for and anticipated, and, and we're just as excited as everyone else to provide this, but we just asked to hold your horses just for a little bit longer. We're just about there. And so there he's kind of mentioned that V3 is going to be released in multiple stages. It's not just going to be all completed at once, which I think is a definitely a good strategy going forward. Then they can release things as they're done and then they can make improvements along the way. And so he did mention a couple of times there that they are very close at releasing that initial stage of V3 here. So that may be something that we see by the end of the year. And so I definitely think that's something very important. And as I have stated before, I think they are laying the groundwork here. And so as he has mentioned there at the end was um, creating a requirement for KYC. And so they are also focusing on that and making sure that they meet other requirements going forward here as they have already made connections in the US. Now they are working, making connections in Vietnam as well. And so I think they are doing very well. They are definitely creating a framework going forward. And so I'd like to go back here and take a look at the chart for Telcoin as well. So we can see right now we are at 
some pretty strong support at about 2.15 cents and so we can see this was resistance in the past here we can see we came up and bounced off of that here and then we have broken through that and then since then we have some found some resistance here going down as well and now we are sitting right back at the resistance line so i would like to see a bounce here however if we do end up falling below this i am not going to be selling my telecoin i am very long um, holding this cryptocurrency as i am long-term bullish i think there's a lot of potential for this over the next five to ten years and so and so I'd also like to take a look at this article here as well. This is talking about the virtual money that they have been working with Telcoin in Vietnam. And so before Vietnam, there were 92 countries implementing mobile money service with nearly 700 million registered accounts. The average transacting volume of the mobile money service is about $1 billion per day. And so there's a lot of users using this mobile money service. And so if Telcoin can get into this, I think they have a lot of potential for a lot of users and a lot of people starting to use their service. And so we can also see down here that the initiator of this service is Telcoin, which is a private company based in Singapore. And so the project has now issued an ERC token named Telcoin on the Ethereum blockchain. And so as we have stated, there is a large impact on a global scale with a lot of the users using the mobile money service. And then if they have a lot of success with Telcoin, I imagine a lot of those users that are currently using the mobile money service will start moving over to Telcoin. And so that could be about 700 million different users moving to the Telcoin app here when it does go live. And so I definitely think this is something to keep in mind going forward. And so I'd also like to take a look at this article as well. And so this is a map showing where cryptocurrencies are taking off around the world. And so Vietnam is definitely leading the rest of the world based on cryptocurrency adoption. So we can see that Vietnam is a one and the next best country is a four. And so that is India and Pakistan. And then there's other countries that are leading a little bit further behind. And so the United States are at an index of 0.22, while Vietnam has a score of one. And so we can see that the global adoption of cryptocurrency has taken off in the last year up 881% with Vietnam, India, and Pakistan firmly in the lead. And so since um, Vietnam has grown 881% in the past year, that may mean that possibly the United States or other countries will also see that gain over the next year as well. And so Vietnam may show where we are heading going forward. And so if they are starting to work with Telcoin, maybe they will find a lot of success with that. And we'll see many other countries start to adopt that same strategy going forward as well. And so I definitely think this is very bullish for Telcoin. And so I definitely think with them working with the Nebraska legislation and now working with Vietnam, there's gonna be a lot of other countries that are gonna start announcing. They may be um, announcing the US here as well shortly. And so I definitely think there's a lot of potential for this cryptocurrency going forward. And so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you'd like to see future videos on cryptocurrencies. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd be interested to know what you are thinking. And thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.